Hello, Destiny. Listen, we miss you guys. We love you guys. Listen, I know that it's been a long season for us, and it's been five weeks, six weeks now, and uh, but the governor has given the okay for us to have church uh, uh, at certain phases. This, the first phase would be at 25% capacity. Second phase would be at 50% capacity in June, June 7th. Uh, but Destiny, uh, you know, as we've been praying and we've seen what's happening, not only in our country, uh, but in our region, especially, especially with people of color and, uh, uh, and people that have underlying health conditions. And this is how I'm making our decisions and how our leadership that we have in our church is making a decision when we're gonna open up, if we're gonna open up. So when I think about our kids all the way from uh, 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 our uh, uh, nursery uh, to our eldest person in the church, which 75 years of age, everybody in between, I'm thinking about how can we open up our church in the most healthiest and safest way possible. And with a virus that you cannot see and you cannot detect. And we have people in our community that's asymptomatic, which simply means they have it, but they're not showing signs that they have it. And for me to take an asymptomatic person and put them back, put them next to a vulnerable person, whether it's of age or an underlying health condition, when I'm talking about underlying health condition, I'm talking about those with heart disease, I'm talking about those that have diabetes, I'm talking about those that have hypertension, those that have low compromised immune systems, I'm thinking about all of those families that we have here. And believe it or not, family, we have them here from the nursery all the way up to age 70. So I don't take the decision lightly how to open up. And I want to thank you also for just continuing to be generous where you're giving this concern. Because it, we are making a difference in our community. We are making a difference where our families are concerned. Many of our families have lost jobs. They've got laid off. They've gotten furloughed. And uh, so, uh, so thank you so much because your finances has helped make a difference with all of our families that's going through challenging times right now. But as it pertains to us opening up the church, right now at this time is not the wisest things for us to do because there is no vaccine, there is no cure. And, and at the end of the day, uh, we can uh, have you come in here, but then with the air circulating in our building, we could have potential large infections happening in our church without us even knowing about it. Even though part of the requirement is that we clean our return air filter ever so often, but that's no guarantee. And I'm concerned about your health. And I'm concerned about us all coming back together healthy and whole without nobody on the ventilators, nobody in the hospital, nobody in the grave. This is not an easy season for none of us but it is a serious season for all of us. And we have to take the proper precaution, which means that we put on our masks, we wash our hands, we use hand sanitizers, we keep our six feet distance from each other, social distancing, we have to do this. And let me share something with you. I just wanna to speak to you from my heart because I feel that not enough is being said where our community is concerned. And in particular, the African-American community. Listen, you can go anywhere and you don't know who has it. But then you can have somebody that's asymptomatic as a child, has it, take it to a grandmother, then all of a sudden that mother, that grandmother is sick because her grandson went next to somebody or, or one of the sons and daughters went next to somebody, brought it to the house and infected the whole house. This is serious for our community and we have to take it serious. Other churches are opening up. Every church have the right to do what they feel they need to do for their church. But as for destiny, my only care and my only concern is for your health. Not only for today, not only for tomorrow, but, but forever. And so listen, it's with the love of the Lord that I tell you that we miss you. God's gonna give us creative ways to come together. And when that moment happens, I promise you, I'm gonna get us, I'm gonna get us back together quickly as I can in the most safest and healthiest way possible. But until that time, stay encouraged, persevere through this season, endure what you gotta endure, love each other, check on each other, and keep your church and keep your pastor in prayer. I love you, God bless you.